All right, guys. Turn 13. Um, the Crown has requested hey, Kevin move down south. Yes. Uh, just Making because he's pushing into the Crown Lands, uh, into the Kingswood a bit around here, so we need to be in range of King's Landing and uh, Daskendale, so we'll move over a bit next turn. Uh, given the Stannis is, uh, and everyone's sort of around the Kingswood around here, so if they do break through, I don't want I don't want that happening there. Because Joffrey has forted off this river, uh, this uh, river crossing right here, so I kind of want yes, Kevin to be just in range of the fort and just in range of King's Landing. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but Stannis has a risk of Stannis zerging north and attacking the Riverlands if he wanted to do that. Uh, it seems unlikely, but you know, I want Kevin uh, Tywin down here in range of what I will be. Actually, I'll show you. I tried whipping them. Hail my king. What will be a fort yes, blocking sir. off this. New by your and then Tywin can come down there and defend that. I've also got the Freys I coming down to defend that as well. Enemy. Possibly sending Tywin and the Frey stack down to help out in the Kingswood. Um, what this does, however, by leaving, um, by moving Tywin down here, he's not in range yes. of this fort or river run. So I'm going to grab on, Frey. Sire. Move him over here so he's in range yes. of uh, River Run. My king. And uh, Stonehenge is just going to have to sort of <laughs> stay where it is for now. Although uh, Frey is in range of it if yeah, need be. Let's build that in there for now. Uh, that stack is saying there. It's got half a stack in there. Damn. It's highly unlikely. I have scouted. Greyjoy has no forces nearby. So that fort will be a fine on its own for a bit. It's not going to get me killed. Or anything like that. Uh, Forley can stay here, just defending Castamere and the Crag. Not much else going on, really. So, uh, Kevin yes, will move down and side. defend that fort there next turn. Move as needed, essentially. That's about it, really. Uh, the turns are very short. Very little is happening, to be honest. That's hence why I might send Tywin down to the Kingswood just to have some action, because. Stark's essentially dead. This hot seat, I don't believe, is going to last very long because we've pretty much already won. Unless, uh, like, Tyrell was to betray us or something utterly ridiculous like that. Even fighting Greyjoy would be a small task, frankly, with the armies that I have at my disposal. I'd easily defeat him. Alright, I thought better of that. Rather than sending Tywin just a little bit ahead, there's no real rush to get to the fort down there. So, if we leave Tywin here, he can defend that fort in the unlikely event that it is attacked. So, yeah. And Frey's not powerful enough to betray me, even if he would, which I don't think he will. As I said, Old Frey, still in range of River Run. That's where he needs to be. It's fine. Leave Preston behind. Cast the Rock has a full stack. My fleet's slowly getting more shit together. Uh, yeah, that's about it, really. Kevin is still where Kevin was. He needs to go down there, essentially. But yeah, that's it. So, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in the next turn. So, all out.